Hello and welcome to this introduction to Wayne Giles ESR meter. The meter was originally designed by Wayne, an active model flyer. Being a retired power electronics engineer, he wanted to quantify the wide variations in performance and life of LiPo batteries which are available on the market. Carrying out many constant current power discharge tests demonstrated that there is a close correlation between the IR values and the actual performance of LiPo packs. A LiPo battery can be considered as a stable voltage source with a small resistance in series with it. This resistance is the internal resistance of the battery pack, IR, and is measured in milliohms. In the ideal pack, this would be zero milliohms, but in practice, of course, it is not, and any current you take from the pack will result in a voltage drop across this resistance, which will be subtracted from the ideal pack voltage. It follows that we are looking for the lowest possible IR to give us the lowest voltage drop. The ESR meters allows us to accurately measure the IR of each cell and the total resistance of the pack including leads and connectors. Using the IR of a cell at a known temperature gives us a comparative measure of the LiPo's capabilities and enables us to forecast a maximum safe current we can take from the cell using the LiPo tool software. With the latest upgrade to the meter, this is all built into the firmware so that you only have to input the pack capacity and take an IR measurement to obtain a direct reading of the maximum safe current and effective C rating of the pack. Other additions to the firmware allow the user to read the percentage charge state of each cell directly and there are also over range and low cell voltage warnings automatically displayed. The meter is very simple to operate and delivers accurate information instantaneously and is portable so that you can take it to the flying field with you. We will run through an analysis of this 3S LiPo. You connect the LiPo power leads and the meter will display hold to set milliamp hours and after three seconds the pack voltage. Pressing the operate button will display the ESR of the pack which includes the resistance of the power leads and connectors in this case 32.1 milliohms. If we now insert the search lead into the balance connector positions corresponding to cell 1 you will see that the meter automatically changes to cell mode and displays the voltage and percentage charge state of the cell. Pushing the button gives an IR reading of cell 1. This procedure can now be repeated for each cell in turn. To read the maximum safe continuous current and realistic continuous C rating of each cell, it is necessary to input the pack capacity in milliamp hours. With the meter reading voltage in either pack or cell mode, you can input the capacity by pressing and holding the button for 3 seconds. The display now reads set milliamp hour hundreds and each button push will add 100 milliamp hours to the memory. When the correct total is there, in this case 200 milliamp hours, you push and hold the display for 3 seconds and the display changes to set milliamp hour thousands. Now each button push will add 1000 milliamp hours. When we reach the correct value, which is 2200 milliamp hours, a further push and hold will terminate the procedure and the display will read capacity set with the total. With the search lead connected to a cell, if we now take an IR reading, you will see that the display also shows the C value and the maximum recommended current drain for long pack life. Whilst most high C rated packs will fall well short of their claims, as demonstrated by that 3 cell pack which is rated at 45 C, other lower rated packs are genuinely rated. We can demonstrate this with a large 5S pack rated at 20 C.
In general, be suspicious of any claimed continuous C rating of over 35C.